Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, David here. Thanks for coming back for another video. Um, or welcome if this is your first one. Uh, how are you doing? Are you okay? I hope you're better than me because it's too hot today. It's, um, well, we're in the middle of September already. It's the 18th of September as I'm recording this. Uh, it's 32 degrees outside. My app says it feels like 38, which I could agree with. 60% humidity. This is, uh, yeah, they're saying it's autumn in Japan, but yeah, not, definitely not yet. Um, so I've been outside today. I had a brisk walk to prepare for this uh, this video today. So that's why if I'm looking a bit sweaty, that's why I was hoping I was going to dry off before this. But I'm on a, I'm on a strict schedule. Uh, you'll find out in a moment why. But today I'm talking about um, something everyone in Japan is familiar with: uh, convenience stores. Uh, you might have an image in, uh, in in your mind already about convenience stores. Uh, there are. I actually made a video about this um, at the start of the year. You can see that one. I could take you a little tour around. Uh, all the big um, convenience stores of Japan. So mo mostly there's three big chains, we'd say there are uh, 7-Eleven, uh, Family Mart and Lawson. Um, there is a, a, a few other sort of like smaller ones. So there's one in my house actually, I'm gonna I'll get more on that later, a little surprise. Ooh, I guess I've just given it away, haven't I? <laughs> but um, they are fairly competitive with each other. They're fighting for turf everywhere. I don't know who's the biggest now. I think probably 7-Eleven is the biggest. Um, I'll fact check that here. Uh, here's a <laughs> correction, correction space. Um, of course, they often sell a lot of the same things. Most of the big brand things you can't do much about except uh, compete on price. But they do have their sort of specialties. They make their own food as well. They make um, bento boxes, the little lunch boxes, um, other hot food as well. Uh, they have special collaborations with um, big companies as well, or big brands. Uh, you may remember, if you have a very long memory, one of my first videos was 7-Eleven's um, Super Mario uh, range of food. Um, but also they make their own hot food that you can buy uh, actually at the, at the, at the cash register. Uh, so we're going to take a look at that today, especially it's fried chicken. Uh, fried chicken is very popular in Japan. Um, if you've been here at Christmas, you'll realize that uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken is very popular. Uh, but even during the during the rest of the um, the year, then you can enjoy hot chicken anytime if you're going to a convenience store, because they they do cook things on on site. Um, they're not restaurants or anything, but they have a little deep fat fryer on the side. Uh, so yeah, there we go. I'm going to take a look at those. They are also fiercely competitive as well. People have their different um, different favourites. So I'm going to scientifically go through all of these today and uh, check them all out and let you know what I think. We've got the normal ones. We've got a few special ones. Uh, we've got a few surprises, so please stay tuned. Please like this video. Um, I appreciate it. Like it now. Don't worry about it. Then you, you can you can rest rest assured. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate that too a lot. I'm trying to get bigger. Um, well, I'm going to be physically bigger after eating all this chicken. Uh, share this channel. Share this video. That would help me a lot. And um, what is the other one? There's one more. Uh, leave a comment as well. Is there anything else you'd like me to try from convenience stores? Uh, okay, so I'm going to get ready and um, let me show you the first of our chicken. So, see you in a moment. Okay, ready to go now. And uh, we're starting off with one of the most famous ones, Family Chiki. This is from Family Mart. So this is the kind of iconic chicken they have. Um, let's just open this up. You can sort of tear it like this. The idea is that you can eat it on the go. So, uh, let's uh, give this a try. So, you can see a nice... Um, let's go and put it out. It's got a pretty decent size as well. These, these are about... Um, Almost 300 yen, I guess. So that's about, I don't know, two pounds if you're in the, in England. A nice bit of hot bit of chicken. Let's give this a try. Hmm. Mm. Okay, it's good. The flavour of the protein gets you first. This is very um, like southern fried chicken flavour. It's not spicy at all. It's got, got some pepper in it, but you can see how deep it is. It's quite fatty as well. You can see that big layer of uh, goop. I don't know if that's is that batter. No, I think that's chicken. Yeah. Mm, let's give it a try again. Mmm, mmm. It's good, not too oily. Sometimes you can get well, it's oily on my fingers, but it doesn't like you can't see the oil unless you, you squish it. Mmm. Looks good. Nice colour. With my food critiquing now. Um, yep. Great job, really. You can't go wrong with a family chiki. Uh, this is probably the most, I don't want to use the word iconic, but a lot of people are big fans of family chiki, so uh, yeah. Oh, get a little bit of spice now, just in the back of my throat. Not very crispy, 
I like things to be a little bit crispy, but uh, yeah, it's fine. It's just been in this bag for about uh, 20 minutes, so. Mm. Mm. Good job, good reliable family chicken. Now, don't worry about food waste. I am going to eat all these things, but um, I'm not going to eat them all now because I'm going to explode. So um, I'm going to keep these. I'm going to add them to pasta. I think I'm going to make some spaghetti later. I might even put them in a curry. That'll be a nice little um, spicy addition. Um, okay, what do I think of family chicki? Might not fill you up, but it will keep you going until the next meal. Okay, so we're done, pepper chicki. Okay, let's get the next one ready. Okay, ready for round two. Now I'm gonna go through all the like the normal chickens from each of the, um, the the big stores, and then I'm gonna do some special ones after that. I've decided I'm gonna change my scoring system. Um, okay, family chicki appearance, the looks. I said eight, didn't I? Uh, the taste. Uh, that gave that a nine, didn't I? That was good. Um, crunchiness. I like crunchiness. I'm gonna have to give that a six. It wasn't very crunchy at all. And uh, juiciness. It was just right, so I'm gonna give that a nine as well. So, okay, mark your, mark your, uh, your sheets, your scorecards. I'm gonna summarize it at the end. I'm gonna have some champion at the end. So next, I'm uh, moving on to uh, Lawson. Now Lawson, see the little tag on the back. Lawson is, um, it's quite a lot of them around, around here. They even have their 100 yen store type uh, Lawson 100. So you get some bargains there if you find a Lawson 100. So this is the El Chiqui. Uh, El for Lawson, not like a Spanish, like a El Presidente. Uh, let's take a look. A little bit, just a little smaller than the family chicky. I think you see all that. Um, let's see what it tastes like. Hmm. Mm. It's okay. Mm. The coating's nice, but it's um. Hmm. I don't know. It's not much of not of spice to it. I don't know if that's just a visual thing because your family chicky is quite orange and like vibrant. This is quite sort of plain looking. Not bad though. Oh dear. Oh, just squeezed it and all this uh, goop, goop came out. Oh no, I'm not sure if I like that. Hang on, I don't think this is a normal. I don't think this is a usual one. This is uh, some special one. There's definitely something in that that's uh, unusual. It's self-service as well, so maybe I just took one that was under the wrong... Um, is that onions inside? I can't, can't work out what that is. Oh, okay, let's try this then. It tastes like gyoza. Gyoza are the kind of like um, Chinese fried dumplings. Mmm, that's really unusual. It's quite nice though. That's why they didn't have a lot of coating, I suppose, because then um, it's going to be a bit too too much of a flavour sensation if you have gyoza and uh, spices on top. Hmm. Oh, that's um, not a surprise. <laughs> okay, my scientific experiment is uh, ruined already. So. Hmm, okay. Save some of this for later. Um, what are we going to say then? So the appearance, ooh, kind of, kind of small. Um, Maybe it's smaller because it's a special flavour, but yeah, I'll give it a six for <laughs> I can't even talk. I give it a six for appearance, uh, taste. This was nice, yeah. That was I could taste the gyoza even without realising that's what I was eating. So uh, I'll give that an eight. That's that's pretty decent. Crunch. There wasn't a lot of crunch to it at all. Um, just a bit kind of mushy. I thought that was all gross fat coming up by there. It wasn't uh, in that case. So um, yeah, crunch. You'll get a five I think on that one and uh, juicy well it's pretty juicy that got that kind of gyoza goop in it so I'll give that a mm, really juice though I'll give it a seven for that one okay so mm, okay then. nice job <laughs> El Chiqui and uh, let's move on to the next one okay right ready again we've got uh, going to 7-eleven now uh, so this is the Nana Chiqui and the Nana is uh, Japanese for seven so Nana Chiqui is like the seven seven Chiqui I guess okay let's see if we can drag this out Mm. Oh, I could, have, I could have torn this. Okay, I'm gonna eat it as they tended. There we go. You can tear off the top like the uh, family chicky. Okay, um, quite compact. It's it's thicker than the family chicky, but it's uh, smaller. So I don't know. I guess it's uh, maybe the same amount of chicken. Let's give this a try then. So hope this out. You can take a look. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Looks nice, sort of golden brown. 
wonder what the flavor is going to be like. So let's give this a try. Hmm. Okay. It definitely feels like um like a big piece of chicken. <laughs> That's stupid thing to say. Family cheeky kind of feels like it was a like a fillet or like a reformed something or other. I've got a lot more sort of a chickeny chickeny um, texture inside. Lots of bumps and bumps and lumps. Doesn't sound very nice, does it? Taste is quite nice. It's um it's got some sort of spice to it, but it's not not very strong at all. Mm. Hmm. That's pretty good. Feels quite good. Um, um, I don't know. It's quite bulky, so when you when you get it, um, when you're biting it, it feels quite substantial. But even though it feels smaller than the other ones, it was. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm eating a big, like big piece of meat. I feel like a nice caveman vibes are coming back. Um, let's take a look inside. You can see inside there. Uh, it's not too oily. That's, that's good. I think I've had nunchaki before and I, I felt like a lot of oil came out of it when you squeeze it. So I felt a little bit like... Ugh. I know this is not healthy, but uh, you know, I don't, don't want to spell it out for me. It's not healthy. Hmm. Hmm. It almost feels like a piece of fried chicken that you can make at home. Like, um, I don't know, it feels very sort of re real. I don't know if that, mis that makes sense. It doesn't feel like I've just got it out of a packet. That's exactly what I've done. Hmm, okay. Uh, cheeky. How are we scoring on that? So, uh, appearance. Yeah. I think it looks kind of, hmm, look, looks thick and thick, thick and juicy, let's say. So let's give that an eight. Uh, taste was good, but a little bit, I mean, it was chickeny. Uh, it was just got that kind of more of a roast chicken flavor. Um, not really a lot of like uh, strong flavour to it, so, so I'm going to give that a seven. Uh, crunch, not a lot of crunch to be seen. It was uh, you know, a nice texture, but it wasn't crunchy at all. So you get a six for that, maybe. Not bad, okay, six. And um, juicy, yeah, that's plenty juicy. So yeah, I'll give that a nice, uh, mm, give that a nine, just to separate the the pack a bit. I've got one of these uh, little oshi bodies, so little wet tissues they give you with the uh, with fried chicken. So. We need to be using that today. Okay, get ready for the next one. Oh, okay, I'm about halfway through, so I'm feeling, feeling the burn a little bit. <laughs> and um, you now I've been talking about the big three convenience stores, but a new challenger appears. Um, you might realize this if you've uh, seen my convenience store video, but Daily Yamazaki uh, is another fairly decently sized chain in, in Japan. So um, there's a huge one in my house, so I like to go there sometimes. They have their in-store bakery, which is kind of their, their big point. And Yamazaki makes a lot of uh, kind of brand goods as well. They make some chocolate and um, yeah, bread products and all sorts of things like that. Uh, excuse me. So I'm going to take a look at. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get the daily chiki or uh, day, day, daily chiki. I think that's what it's called, daily chiki. So I have to settle for this uh, special one, which is dropping things on me. Uh, this is a tartar sauce chicken. So we're getting into the special special uh, mode. What are these things falling off? Mm. Like polystyrene bits or something, I don't know. Packaging is dropping a lot of stuff. Okay, this is just in a little, little fold, I think, so I can take it out. Okay, oh dear, that wasn't a good idea. Uh, looks like a little bit of a fillet, giant chicken nugget. Which makes sense, because it's, presumably it's filled with sauce, so let's give this a try as well. Mm. Hmm. Can you tell that? Does feel like a big chicken nugget. Sort of, um, hmm. It's a big greasy feeling. It's like one of those, um, just something you'd uh, heat up in the microwave or something, or, you know, oven, oven baked chicken steak or something. So I guess this, this is a reformed chicken. It is like a big chicken nugget, really. Mm. Tartar sauce is a little bit skimpy, but well, now I'm getting to the middle. There's, I mean, this, the whole thing's quite thin, so the layer of tartar sauce is quite thin. Tartar sauce is pretty popular for um, having fried chicken. Um, it's sort of looking so greasy. 
There's a there's a famous recipe called uh, chicken nambang, which I believe comes from uh, Kyushu, which is kind of fried chicken with this. Uh, it's got tartar sauce, but it's also mixed with some sweet. I don't know, it's some sort of sweet uh, soy sauce kind of thing. I'm not really sure what's in it, but it's really nice if you get to try it. Hmm, it looks like my teeth. Hmm, okay, this is different anyway. Hmm. I can taste that sort of sourness of the tartar sauce. How do you make tartar sauce? It's like eggs and uh, something, right? <laughs> I don't know. It's almost got like a sour cream onion um, taste to it, so. Hmm, okay. Not too bad. It's a little bit cheaper than the other ones too, so uh, that's a good value. It's a shame I couldn't get the uh, the regular daily chicken. Whew, okay, let's give some scores for that then. Um, so the daily taru taru chicken. Um, the appearance, yeah, it looked all right. Yeah, it just did look a bit artificial, like a big chicken nugget, like I said, so I'll give you a six for that. And uh, the taste, taste was fine. Yeah, tartar sauce was quite nice, a nice balance of the flavor, so. Uh, should I give that an eight just to be nice? Yeah, eight, eight for that. Um, crunchy, it was very crispy on the outside. The, the coating was very nice. I guess they have a bit more control over it if it's just like a big, big process thing. Uh, so crunch, I'll give you a, I'll give you, a, give you a nine for cr crunch. There we go, you succeeded. And juicy, can't really say that. It was a little bit of a dry, uh, dry chicken breast, but it had that sauce in there, so mm, not too bad. Yeah, so qualified success for uh, daily Yamazaki today. Uh, okay, so now let's get into some of the special ones. Uh, so the, these are not the kind of A-list um, chickens from the convenience stores. Uh, let's give that a try. My, my fingers are too greasy now, okay. Ooh, I'll take a little breather after that. A little bit of coke. I'm having a very unhealthy day. This is a very cheat day. Mm. At least coke never surprises you. <laughs> it's just always there. Mm. It seems like coke is quite popular thing to have with fried chicken because um, I think one of the one of the fried chicken uh, not fried chicken um, I think Pepsi was it or Pepsi or, or Coke company they made a special karage like fried chicken accompaniment um, cola uh, so I'll put a little picture there if I can find it uh, but it's supposed to be designed so it especially goes with fried chicken so I don't know I never got to try that one actually but uh, yeah, whatever Oh dear, I'm making a mess here. I need, need to get the Hoover out. Okay, special one now. Back to Family Mart and uh, back to Family Mart, <laughs> and they've got some special flavors as well. They did do like a crispy chicken thing, which I sometimes see. I, I couldn't find it today. That looks like a kind of um, big uh, corrugated chicken nugget. <laughs> so let's try this out. This is um, this is a family family chicky shoyu dashi flavor. The dashi is the kind of um, fish-based stock that they use for a lot of uh, Japanese cooking, and shoyu is uh, soy sauce. So, oh, that's an interesting shape as well. Let's see if we can get that out. Oh dear, <laughs> a little bit phallic, but here we go. That's uh, oh, we've got. It's a bit different to the family chicken as well. So let's give this a try. It smells, mmm, smells a bit savoury. Mmm. Mm. It's a strong flavour in that coating. Yeah, I'm getting that kind of um, yeah Japanese taste, the soy sauce and the um, mm. I'm getting the dashi too. That's got that kind of fishy, subtle, that subtle flavour of the dashi. Oh, okay, that's quite nice. Hmm, feel like I'm eating um, like uh, crisps, like a chicken consomme flavour crisps. Potato chips, if you know, American speaking world. Hmm. Okay, it's a little bit different structure inside. Feels, I don't know, feels like a, like a different bit of, uh, different cut of the chicken, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. A little bit juicy inside. It's not squeezing out, that's good. Oh dear. We need the burn a bit now. Why is well, this a stupid idea to do this, wasn't it? Mm. Okay. Not bad. I think that taste was really nice. The um, okay appearance. Yeah, 
look a nice sort of, uh, again, they've got that nice golden, golden color to it, so I'll give you an eight for that. Taste was, hmm, good. It's like uh, distinctive as well. Sometimes when they give these special flavor names to things, you think, oh, really? It doesn't really taste anything special. But yeah, I could, I could taste the dashi, taste the shoyu, so, ooh, I guess I'll give you an eight for that. Uh, crunchy, not really crunchy. I mean, they do have a sort of bread crummy coating, but it's not, it doesn't have like a crunchy layer or anything like that. Uh, juicy, yeah, that was fine too. Oh, so crunchy, I'll give you a, mm, give you a seven, uh, six for that. Juicy, that's a, uh, what's that? Oh, excuse me, oh, this is terrible. Uh, juicy, I don't know, it was fine. Eight for that as well. So, well done, family Chicky, doing well. And put this away. Oh lord, I've only got two more left, so okay, the end's in sight. I was thinking I was going to put all this in spaghetti or curry or something later, but I'm thinking, what, what a mess of <laughs> flavours this is going to be, it's not just chicken. Uh, okay, let's go straight into the next one. Uh, let me whip this out from 7-Eleven. Um, so like I said, we had the Nana Chiki before. This is the Age Tori. So Age means fried and Tori is chicken, so fried chicken. Okay, let's take a look at this one. So the agitori has a sort of slightly, um, I don't know, a, bit, a little sort of lighter colour, but it's got that kind of crispy top on it. So I feel like it's uh, probably a bit more, feels a bit more, um, I don't know, real. Is that <laughs> all, all chicken's real, I'm sure, but uh, this, if it looks like it, a piece of chicken meat, then that's good, rather than like a processed chicken nugget. Mm. Well, there's a lot of difference anyway, I guess. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. A piece of chicken skin on top. That's quite chewy though. Mmm. Okay. So a big piece of skin on top. Mmm. It's quite nice. Yeah, that chewy top is um I guess I bought these about 20 minutes ago, maybe you have to eat them fresh. No. Nope. Hmm. That's strange because I've had these before, but um, hmm. wasn't quite as chewy as this. Hmm. Okay, it's quite nice. Again, like the Nana Chicky, they haven't really um, seasoned it that much, so it's got sort of quite a subtle, subtle flavour. Did my camera just go weird then? Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. A bit let down by the, the chicken on top there. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Agitori. What do you think? Appearance. It was. Um, yeah, it looks okay. Give it a seven. No, I give it a six. I'm gonna mark it down. It just looked a bit like a, a bit plain. The taste was a bit plain too, so it was nice. I'll give it a seven for that crunch. Hmm. Give, give, give it a four on crunch because it was very chewy. That was really weird. Juicy was fine. Give that a six. Mm, I don't think that's our champion today. Okay, almost there. One more just to go. So just uh, let me let me get ready for that too. Ooh, okay, I think I need to go to the gym after this if I can even stand up. Um, back to Lawson for our last one. Uh, this is uh, Karage Kun. So Karage is fried chicken, and like I said, and Kun is kind of like a cute nickname for someone. They can add it to someone's name to make it a nickname. So like, oh excuse me, uh, David Kuhn, I suppose you could say. Oh dear, this is repeating on me, something something awful. Um, Karage Kuhn comes in all sorts of flavours. It's got the regular ones, it's got spicy ones, uh, cheesy ones, and lots of like limited edition ones. So this time I'm trying the oh, tartar sauce one again. I didn't realise I'd already bought one for the tartar sauce, but uh, there we go. So these aren't quite the same as the, the like affinity ones. But these are sort of chicken nugget style and very helpfully it gives you a little toothpick as well which you can not only use to pick your teeth but you can also um, use it to pick out the, the nuggets so yeah Kadaga Kun is probably more popular than the El Chiki or more famous at least and you usually get six, uh, six nu um, five nuggets in, in one box if you're really lucky you might get six so that's like a little surprise oh help if I use the right hand okay let's try out uh, Kadaga Kun mm. Hmm. Okay. 
I'm gonna try to make this video as quickly as I could, but I think it's gone a little bit chewy because of um, we've been waiting for a little while. Hmm, that's okay. Was that okay? Yeah, that I didn't feel like I got any of the tartar sauce in that one. Okay, let me just try another one. So, for science. Oh. Oh, can't get it. See if I can show you. Oh, there we go. It's got a tart sauce in there. You can see inside just like a chicken nugget. And it's got a bit of a um, layer of sauce in there. Hmm. Again, yeah, I haven't really messed the, messed the tart sauce, sauce up. Like I said, this is quite a classic combination because of uh, chicken namban being quite popular. But they never say chicken namban, they just say taru taru. Hmm. I guess chicken number has more ingredients in it. Hmm. Maybe I should have put that in the microwave. But yeah, too much tartar sauce. I think it's not not great. It's got that kind of um, creamy sourness to it. Like so, oh, why well, I said sour cream, I guess. But hmm. Hmm. You have to be in the right mood for it. Sometimes I get the cheese ones of these, which are quite nice. Hasn't got like a cheese layer or anything like that. It's just kind of a cheesy, cheesy flavoured. Oh, oh dear. Oh, I've got six as well. That's my lucky day. Okay, I'll try one more for science. This looks quite juicy or oily. Hmm. That's a good one. Hmm. I was expecting a bit more because um, I like how dark you Okay, what do I think about that? Appearance, they're quite exciting I and mean, you get these um, cute packages as well, they kind of draw you in, especially when you're doing like, they have a little self-service, um, little hot cupboard things you open up, hot trays. So they're very kind of attractive. The chicken nuggets look fine. And these ones look a bit sort of overdone, but uh, appearance then I'll give them an eight for that. Taste was okay, this one was seven, I'll get for that one. Crunchy, not really, they're a bit chewy, but that might be my fault. They tend to be more sort of a juicy type anyway, they're not really supposed to be crunchy, so give them a five for crunch and juicy. Actually today, they I think they were a bit overcooked, so mm, give them a six for juiciness. Mm. Go, but anyway, yeah, Kalagekun, that's my, my advice from Lawson, if you go there. Oh, goodness me. I was hot already and then I ate a load of chicken, so I don't know what's gonna happen later. <laughs> Thank thankfully, I don't have to go out anywhere special today, so um, I can just relax and sleep it off. Okay, don't worry, food waste. We're not going to waste all this food. This is all going to be used somehow, so don't worry. Uh, okay, oh, actually, one, one more surprise. So let me just get that ready. See you in a moment. Yeah, when I went to Family Mart to get all this chicken, I noticed these on the way in. It's an impulse buy. Some family chicky flavoured um, crisps, um, or potato chips, whatever you want to say. So, I, can I open these two? I guess I have to now, I've shown you them. So, like I said, Family Chicky is one of the most famous products in Family Mart. It's one of the icon, it's like the Big Mac of Family Mart. So let's try these out. It's a shame though, that the Family Chicky was the, the first one I ate, so hopefully I can remember the taste. Okay, we've got a decent, decent serving in there, it's not too bad. Okay. Mm. Touch that family cheeky. Okay, yeah, I'm getting it now. To be honest, very specific uh, crisp flavors. I am a bit, a little bit um, suspicious of because they, they just you, you can easily just rebrand one you've got, got already. So chicken consomme is a famous um, uh, crisp flavor in, in Japan. So this kind of just tastes like that. So. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I mean, it's nice, nice uh, crisp, but it just tastes like chicken consomme flavor, to be honest. Well, that's not a bad thing, but uh, I get a little bit of no. Family chicky fans, uh, don't be fooled. But if you like chicken consomme, which you probably do, then uh, it's decent, decent flavor anyway. Okay, I'm gonna put a, put a clip on those for later. Okay, so. Um, I didn't actually write down any of these scores. I'm gonna put them in uh, little bubbles and things as I go along, so hopefully you've been keeping up. But as for my pick of the day, I'm looking at my notes even though there's nothing on there. Um, 
I think Family Chicky was probably the winner. Um, I'll, t I'll, I'll reveal the real winner here if, in case I. I'll, I'm going to calculate this later so you'll know what I mean. Um, yeah, Family Chicky, good size. It feels like big enough, even though it's thinner. A nice flavour to it, nice colour. Um, just enough to give you a treat before you go to, uh, before you have your dinner. If you've, leave it a few hours before you have dinner. Um, but uh, yeah, I can understand why this praise so much. I think all the other convenience stores are trying to follow in its wake, really. I think it's probably why Karaage Kun is such a big um, focus of Lawson because, you know, the, the, the chicken piece market is tied up by Family Mart, so maybe they can get the chicken nugget market, I'm not sure. Okay, well, thanks for uh, watching all the way to the end. Me just eating loads of chicken and um, probably gonna have a heart attack after this. I uh, hope you liked it. Please like this video if you haven't already. Leave a comment, share it with your chicken loving friends and subscribe to this channel. That would help me a lot. Um, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna burp all the way through the rest of this video. Ooh, okay, thank you very much. Eat responsibly. Take care, see you next time. Bye.